Russell was at a meeting tonight. She has a reaction from those who were there. The family of Lynn and Lacey and the community here in Bladenboro are leaving the First Baptist Church yet again without answers as to what happened to the teen. About 100 or so people filling these pews, now believing that there's a killer on the loose here in this town. Black mother son. Believing that justice can be found in a case that remains a mystery. The community coming together tonight to not only support the FBI investigation into Lynn and Lacey's death, but the NAACP and Lacey's family's pursuit for answers. I am still here. We haven't gone anywhere. We have to live in this neighborhood. Someone needs to answer for what happened. Many in the Bladenboro community believe the person responsible for Lennon's death still walks these streets and that the local police have done little to help figure out what happened. He didn't do what he, what I, my tax dollars paid him to do. He did not do it. And like I said, there's protocol in every job that you have. He didn't follow not no, pro, he didn't follow any protocol. He didn't give me no respect. The police chief at the meeting tonight, but walking out before questions began. All of the physical evidence around the murder scene. So the family has left their hope for closure in the hands of the FBI. They're very thorough, and they will get the answers that we're looking for. It may not be what we want, but they will get answers. Another announcement made here tonight is that a reward fund has been created for people to donate to and then in turn give to individuals who come forward with valuable information that will help investigators close this case. In Bladen County, Caitlin Stansel for Fox Wilmington News. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. And I'm John Evans. A teenager found hanging from a wooden swing set and the investigation that has yielded few answers. Family and community members in Bladen County are still asking what happened in the moments leading up to Lennon Lacey's death last year. WBCT's Caitlin Stansel is live from Bladenboro tonight where a meeting is being held. Caitlin, what new details has the North Carolina NAACP announced? Well, Fran and John, the pews here at the First Baptist Church in Bladenboro are just now filling up here. And what we are expecting to learn from this meeting tonight are the latest details on an FBI-led investigation into Lennon Lacey's death. Now, you may remember Lacey's body was discovered last August, reports saying that he was found hanging from a swing set. And since then, the case has been scrutinized. The state medical examiner ruling that Lacey killed himself, but Lacey's family and the NAACP questioning that ruling. And since then, the FBI has been launching its own investigation. We're also expecting to learn ways that the community can help with this investigation. The meeting set to start here at 6 p.m. We are it's just now about to get underway. We, again, are waiting to learn those latest details in the investigation. I'll be live tweeting from this meeting. You can follow me on my Twitter handle. It's there on your screen. But back to you guys in the studio for now.